Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again we are going to be jumping into another episode and I want to play as the hollow again I really enjoyed playing as him last time definitely a, a more difficult character just due to the fact that this guy doesn't really have many synergies that obviously work with modded items but I really enjoy him as a character he is a bit of a challenge uh, and honestly I've just not been playing great recently and I think a win as this guy would really like sort of bolster my confidence a little bit so we're kind of hoping for a lot of damage and hp ups early on um that seems to be the sort of best way to play as this guy um oh, there you go managed to get that poop there oh we got a trap door oh, i was hoping that it'd be a, a thingy but there you go we got a trap door and a single penny there you go nothing bad about that nothing bad about that at all but yeah i find this guy really fun he's definitely a challenger and you guys really seem to like the uh the first episode we did with the hollow i'm gonna be playing some of these new characters that we just added to the series uh for a little bit here i know they don't have unlocks specifically but we still want to get the completion marks done regardless um and then we we should probably go and try and unlock a few more tainted characters i kind of want to get like tainted forgotten unlocked tainted eve stuff like that because uh, we've been waiting on them for a little while now um and yeah i really should go and try and unlock those and see what we can but as for the question of the day as we're playing the hollow let's let's bring in a, a hollow themed um a hollow themed question of the day what's what sort of your like hole in your life what, what's something that you think you're really missing right now what's something that you really want that you think would kind of be a bit of a i don't know could, could complete you a bit for me it's just more free time um no to be fair i've okay I'm actually, um, like, in a reasonably good spot with, like, my job and stuff with free time. But it, I just mean more, like, unfortunately, just, just because of my job mixed with what my girlfriend does as a job, we don't have a ton of time to, like, spend together. Like, we, obviously, I'm, like, we see each other every day, like, after work and stuff. But we don't get a lot of, like, weekends to, like, spend together sort of thing. And that would that would definitely be something that, I'm, that I think I'm missing out on that would be really nice to to get more of. 100% because um, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of fun like the it, basically the, this is kind of spawned off of the back of ooh, You are looking quite nice there little Loki Um, Kind of spawned off of the back of this previous weekend gone by uh, We had a weekend where we had Friday Saturday and Sunday Like free nothing no commitments nothing to do. We did see some friends on Saturday, but um it was only for like later in the evening. We had no real commitments or anything and we just got to spend the entire weekend like doing what we wanted and it was really really nice and it's just kind of like, damn, I wish we could do this more. Okay, did manage to get a, a guy there. Obviously little Loki here is not the best but he does decent damage. I really like this re-sprite of little Loki by the way. I'm not sure which mod adds to that re-sprite but it's really really nice. It makes him look a little bit more like the boss version of himself. And yeah, having familiars as this guy seems like actually a really good sort of out. Because we have a little bit more of a way of dealing damage actively. Rather than it being all passive with the flies. But let's get... I was going to say, let's get a HP up. Uh, range up and shot speed up. I don't know. See, this is this is one thing that I, I, I still need to figure out with, um, with this guy. Is I don't actually know what stats do what. Like, I can't imagine range does anything. I don't know if shot speed does anything. He's definitely, I, th I think he's, he's one, of these, one of those characters that I feel like he's got some absurd potential with a little bit more work. And I realized that, like, the developer's already done a lot of work with this character. Um, and it's probably been a while since it was last updated. And I don't really expect much else to come of this character because it's already in a pretty good spot. But... Adding something to make, like, some of the other stats do something, and then adding some way to, like, trigger on tier hit effects and stuff a little more reliably would, would yeah, really add to this character a lot, as we discovered in the first episode, as in. But, either way, he's got, he's got quite a bit of strength to him. I think if you get some good damage ups early, he can really sort of ball out of control. Um, as I said as well, HP ups are kind of a necessity for this guy, because at the minute... I think tears up do also work for this guy as well, so tears up is something we want to try and get to. I'm pretty sure tears ups increase the rate at which flies respawn. Again, I'm not 100% sure about that, but it feels like it. Um, right. Best friend? I, actually, I do not mind best friend. It's one of those actives that I think always kind of gets a bad rap. And... To be honest, I kind of get why. Like, in a situation like this, it was absolutely useless. Um, 
but it can be really good. The explosion does a lot of damage. I think I think the main reason it gets a bad wrath is just it takes so long to explode, but it does attract attention. And speaking of, I, I, as I as I spoke about in a previous episode, I've been watching a, a guy called Dark Viper AU play through the Banning of Isaac. Um, I've been watching it like when I go to the gym and stuff, and it's been really interesting watching someone that has like no previous knowledge of the game playing it from scratch. It's been really, really interesting to see. And one thing that I, like I find I found out through one of his episodes that I never knew before is, do you know the the fly that like goes around the walls? It like sticks to the walls and around the rocks. It does this and it kind of walks around. I can't. Is it called Lost Fly? I don't remember the one, but it just sticks to the walls and does damage to enemies who touch it. It attracts enemies like. Like, enemies will try and shoot it and chase it and stuff. Like, I literally never knew. Never knew it did that. And it happened on one of his episodes, and I was like, What? How this... This makes this I, this fly so much better. Like, it was absolutely killing it. It was it was like, um, Scapegoat. Or what's it called? Um, I forget the name of that item now. Um, Punching Bag. But, god damn. Yeah, it was great. But yeah, all, honestly, one of the great things about um, about this space item as well is, for one, it's um, obviously a reusable bomb that we can use for like getting behind rocks and stuff. But also, the explosion is la is larger than a typical bomb, so you can get a little bit more oomph out of the explosion. Now, I don't know if we want to go Devil Deal. I feel like Devil Deal were more likely to get damage ups, so it might be more worthwhile. But at the same time. Only having soul heart health, and we have a good amount of it, but we don't have a lot of it. I feel like it's maybe not a great idea. Okay. Let's just stun you guys. Good, good. We got some bombs there. I'm just going to use a regular bomb here. Okay, maybe... Maybe now. If there's a soul heart in here as well, there isn't, unfortunately. But maybe now we are a little more inclined... To uh, to go for the devil deal here, because yeah, this is this is looking good. Skip around here and grab that. I will take a pill. Shot speed up, speed down. Yeah, again, I don't think the, the shot speed up does much for us. See, look at that. Literally one shot him, and we even get some more HP here as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for this. We'll go for this. We'll take matchstick as well. Why not? Okay, this is tricky because the nail is real good. Especially because it's a damage. We're going to have to take the nail. I really like Best Friend, but the nail is HP regeneration, the ability to destroy rocks anyways, and um, damage up, which of course we really need. Um, so let's just keep heading down, but I, I really like the idea of the nail here. I think the nail is going to be super valuable. Um, right. Make our way. So yeah, we use it in this room. We get a pretty big damage up, which obviously affects affects all of our flies. But then also we can walk on all the rocks, which I'm not going to do in this room with the mushrooms, but I will do with the regular rocks at least. Pretty useful. Pretty useful. Um, and of course we get a half um, a half heart every single time as well. It, I can't believe the nail used to be a full heart. Like back in Afterbirth Plus days, the nail was like such a God tier active. I mean, it's still a very, very good active. Do not get me wrong. But it used to be, like, absolutely obscene how good it was. Um, there was a lot of stuff in Afterbirth Plus like that. Like, Humbling Bundle. Like, it's still really good, but then it was even more nuts. And, like, Sackhead was even more nuts. And, like, people say, like, oh, I can't believe they nerfed these things. It's like, what? Are you kidding me? This is a tricky one, because... I, I genuinely think re-rolling here is not a bad idea, but I don't want to re-roll the nail. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping there's another active on this floor. Although actually, isn't a D6, isn't a D6 like a full run re-roll? So it'll re-roll the nail anyways. It'd be a bit of a shame to get rid of the nail here. I think. Let me just go check. Rerolls all of Isaac's items. Rerolls all pickups, trinkets, and pedestal items on the floor. So yeah, we'd be re-rolling it anyways. We've only got three items. Let's see what we get for the rest of this floor first. 
and then we'll maybe consider that. Because I'm just basically looking at my... Oh, God, I'm taking damage that I shouldn't be taking here. Just just looking at my items right now. Matchstick... Uh, sorry, matchbook, um, the, the safety pin, and little Loki. None of them are really doing all that much for me. It's only really the nail here that's, like, real good. So... It's like, do I want to try and gamble at potential extra synergies, potential extra damage, all that good stuff in the herbs. Now, we do remember before that bubbles don't work well with this character, so we've got to be a little careful around those. It's okay, though. Come on, flies, go for him. I'm having a really hard time killing this guy because the flies just will not target him. There you go, we got him. I will check the shop out here. Um, unfortunately, no soul heart for sale, which is really what I was hoping for. Um, secret room seems likely to be here. There you go. We did get a crawl space as well, so that's another item potentially. Um. Okay. So, I'm definitely more so on the side of re-rolling right now, I've got to say. Because that's, that's another item I can re-roll there. Let's pop this. Look how cool our hollow looks with this active as well. That's awesome. Don't you get inside this boy. Check this out. Two stone chests. I'd kind of rather have had the nail for this, to be honest, but here we are. What was in the shop again? I can't remember. Was it an active? I don't think it was. I think it was a passive. Whatever it is, I should go buy it. These aren't the electric fellas, are they? No, they're not cool. That was a really, really, really good um, two stone chests there. I think of all the chest resprites, the stone one's definitely my favourite. I think a few of you have agreed with that sentiment as well, to be honest. I think the stone chest resprite looks really, really good. Okay, let me quickly go back and check out what we got going in the shop here. Um, if it's a passive, I'll just buy it. It is a passive. Let's just buy that. I always forget you get three coins for picking that up. Right, and we we, we got to find our item room, but I'm I'm definitely on the side of let's re-roll at the moment. I think that unless this unless this item is like a, a synergy or like run changer, it seems like the most logical thing to do. Even if we're going to lose the nail, which would be a shame, of course. Okay, careful of the spiders. Spiders aren't too bad for us. Oh, come on now. This is a... I didn't realise there was, like, this absolute army over here. Calm down, fellas. Calm down. I've actually... I'm gonna have to take a pause midway through this episode because I've got a quiche in the oven. I, uh... Just, just before I started recording this episode, I decided to make a quiche. I've got ham, sausage, and chicken and onion in it. And I'm very excited to eat it. <laughs> it's going to be my lunch. Wicked Soul is pretty darn good. It's... But it's not a lot of damage. It is a multiplier, though. It is a multiplier. Ah, oh, that certainly... Ah, oh, that certainly makes things a little more difficult. I'm going to play this a few times as well. Okay. Slightly sad that I played this now. <sighs> Wait, what? A hundred percent chance for treasure room was skipped. I literally never knew that. Wow. Okay, we'll have to do that if we if sometimes things don't reroll with the D the D six thing. I, I don't know. The this is a tough one. We, I'm gonna reroll it. It's gonna it it could be bad. I realize, but I. There's just so much potential with this character to get cool synergies. And there's a lot of stuff on this floor to reroll in terms of actives. Like with a crystal ball there. All the stuff that we've got. Wicked Soul is good, but... I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm in a gambling mood right now. We'll see if we get Devil Deal as well. Okay, this guy is, is very new to me in this, uh, in this form. So I'm going to bomb him because I don't really know how to uh, deal with him. Oh, damn. He's kind of tricky. He's very, very cool. Very good uh, revamp of this boss. That's a really good item as well. Oh, my God. Hmm... 
I'm so conflicted right now. I have some good stuff on me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna re-roll it. I'm gonna do it. We got... Pick Soul Heart here, I guess. What do we get? Little Steven's good, Little Delirium's good. Stem Cells gives us some more flies, good. We got uh, PhD's good. Matchbook we ended up keeping. Money equals power's good. I think we got some good stuff here. I think we got some good stuff. Let's see what our other rerolls ended up being. Okay, that didn't reroll. Which is not how I thought this worked. Which might mean the Magic 8 Ball is still in here, which would be awesome. Why, game? Why? I'm gonna take it. I don't know what it'll do. In fact, let me see if I can find out if the Hollow has a listed synergies thing. Hollow. Um, it doesn't have a list of synergies, so I don't know if that synergized at all. But I guess we'll find out. I'm. Why didn't the goddamn. Ah. Oh, I'm confused about why one of those things re rolled and the other didn't. Very strange. Very strange. Anyways, I'll see if Cursed High does literally anything apart from upset me. We'll find out. Really? You're going to put them right in the spikes? Thank God I can still get it. But yeah, having Little Steven mixed with um, Little Delirium here. Pretty nice as a bit extra bit of damage. We've got seven flies to generate now, which is nice. Overall, I think we're... We're in a potentially worse off spot now, but once we get money equals power ranked up a bit, I think we're in a better spot. I think money equals power is like the, the, the better thing. I think the biggest loss of all is the nail slash the magic eight ball. I think either of those could have been really good. I maybe should have played to the strengths of the um, magic eight ball with the 100% planetarium chance, which I literally never knew about before, I'll be honest. Oh, dude, come on, don't just telefrag me, that's a bit rude. This is a bloody horrible room. We do have good old Plum doing doing its thing. Oh my god. Getting hit by stuff I shouldn't be getting hit by. It's okay, health isn't too bad right now. Um, I will do a few pulls of this. I'll go down to one key. We already got fit, and we get the Eternal Heart as well, which is absolutely fantastic for us, because that's another HP up. And the flight itself is really nice here. I like that. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to see stuff like Cursed Eye um, do something specific with, like, how flies are generated. Like, if they generate in, a, in like, a burst of, like, three at a time or something. Um, PB pills now give damage. We'll go for that. It's it's pretty unlikely that we'll get we'll get much off of that, but we do have PhD and P um, PB pills do show up with PhD, so slightly more likely to happen. We do got to remember we have PhD. I'm gonna end up forgetting. Get you in there. Realistically, should have popped it once I got to the middle of the room because at the minute you're not really doing too much, are you? Good friend, but I don't know. You got in there. You got some damage, a little bit, just a little bit. But yeah, we lost some damage as well. But like I said, money equals power. We should gain a good amount of that back. We also have this uh, wallet here, which allows us to buy a few free um, shop items, right? Or is it like shop items for stats down or something like that? The D seven. Don't really think the D7's all that valuable to us, sadly. Not a particularly good item room, but the fact that we got fate this floor kind of makes up for it at least a little bit. Um, not much in here, apart from a chest. Okay, we got three chests. Not bad. Not what I was expecting, but not bad. Uh, we can get into the cash room from here as well. Lovely, lovely. Ooh, we got one of these chests. Uh, what the hell? That was confusing. 
What the hell does the clear case do? Um... I can't seem to drop it. What the, what the hell's the clear case? One second. Okay, apparently it's from Fiend Folio. And what it's going to do is the next time I get an active item, it will put it into my pocket active slot, which is pretty awesome. Seems quite powerful, but I like it. So if we get another active, we basically get to hold two actives. I quite like that. Especially considering Plum Flute is pretty good too. I like it. Nice one. I'm going to try to use Plum Flute as much as I can, to be honest, because I feel like whenever I have Plum Flute, I always, like, underutilize it. Like, I always kind of save it just for the boss. And it's like, it's good on the boss, but it's also good kind of everywhere else. I'm going to have to go in a minute or so to check on my quiche. Should be just about done. And then I've got to... Let it rest for 20 minutes. Double sun card there. Um, so the rest of this episode, essentially. And then I can eat it. It's going to be so good. You both went for the same poop. You fools. Okay, shop here. Could be good for us. We'll see. Now, this becomes our... Um, yeah, let's take this. So this, this becomes our pocket active now. I like that. And honestly, yeah, let's try and buy Mum's coin purse if we can. We're looking for puberty pills, of course, but just any pills really will do. Hematemesis, lemon party. Shot speed up. Double lemon party here, I guess we just use on the boss. But yeah, this 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 candle is gonna be pretty good in the future. Pageant boy, get recoup some of that money we just lost, unfortunately. We didn't get lucky with this. Okay. Oh, God. I forgot he did that movement. Okay. That can't go over rocks. Good to know. But yeah. This 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 candle recharges over time. And it weakens enemies, right? Yeah. So when they hit by that, they, they take 1.5 times damage. Which is real good for us, to be honest. Seems to last for a decent amount of time as well. Nice. Lump of coal. I don't know if that'll do anything for us. We'll see. Um, and I think I think we just go down to the next floor at this point. Feeling reasonably good with this floor. What did we leave in our item room? I don't remember. Was it another active? Oh well. We're leaving now anyways. I can't have wanted it. <laughs> so unfortunately, the Eternal Heart did not count as a Red Heart. Therefore, it didn't give us any bonus flies. I was really hoping it would. Um, it unfortunately, just counted straight as a soul heart and didn't didn't give me any bonuses in that regard. Ow, purple fire just shot at me. Rude. Soul of Magdalene. I guess we'll just use it. Doesn't make any difference to us, really. Good, good. I think the fire does a little bit of damage itself as well. It's kind of nice. It's just good to be able to weaken enemies, especially bosses. Good, good. Try and use it every room if we can. Having flight here is so goddamn nice. It passes through multiple enemies as well there, lovely. Uh, I will go into this cash room here. Although, before I do, let me just quickly... Nah, secret room can't be there, but it can be here. There you go. I'm so glad that I've got, like, the instinct for secret rooms now. Like, I can be... I'm not... I, I aren't right all the time, especially on the later floors that have, like, a lot more rooms. But I'd say, like, most of the time now. Especially the first secret room. Second secret room, less so. But first secret room, I can be like, that looks right. And it quite often is. It's a very good instinct to have. I know you're going to try shoot at me. It's stupid. Don't even know why I used that there. That is just ridiculously stupid of me. I just saw I, I saw enemies and I was like, let's go. Use it. Makes no difference, you fool. I don't really need to use my candle here. It's just all about dodging, really. Nothing else. Oh, God. I didn't realize there'd be more of you. Oh, yeah. Honestly, 
This candle's so useful for us. Especially the fact that it can hit multiple enemies at once. Okay. Careful little delirium doing whatever it just did. Oh, it needs to, if it could go through rocks, it'd be even better. Sadly, it cannot. That somehow missed both of those, and I got hit. Wow. Come on, item room. Give us something. Give us something to work with here. Look how fast that guy died. Oh, and I just... That's the sort of damage that makes me think what what is actually going on with my brain. I literally just walked directly into that enemy with absolutely no reason to do so. Like, there was... I, no benefit to be gained from what I just did there. And yet, my brain was like, this is the correct idea for you. Um, oh, this room's over. Okay. I was very confused for a minute there. Okay. Take out all of them before we can get the big guy himself. Good, good, good. Slightly longer floor here that we've got. But it don't matter. I mean, it's useful. Random enemy gets erased. That's pretty good. Although, I, I don't know. I'm tempted by keeping the uh, this because the puberty pills, while not frequent, the damage up would be really nice. Remember, if we're trading money here, we're also trading damage. Okay, great. Don't have to make that difficult decision. In fact, we just get straight up more damage. I think if we hit, like, 60 money, we'll be in a spot where our damage is, is really, really nice. Right now, it's just okay. Anyways, one minute. I have released my quiche, and it looks fantastic. It's come out very, very well. But yeah, now, now I've got to wait, like, 20, 25 minutes before it cools down so I can actually get it out of the pan and eat it. I just put it in my... I, like, made it in my cast iron skillet and then put that in the oven. And, oh, it's... It's beautiful is what it is. It's truly something special. Do you know, this run, I'm, I'm enjoying this one, but I could definitely go for another full run reroll if the game were to give it to me. Ooh, whoa, he looks kind of cute. Like, the resprite of the Fallen here is, is kind of cutesy. <laughs> oh, he doesn't look as evil as he normally does, but it's kind of nice. Little cute fella. And we get Guppy Pride. Um, We're not harboring any other guppy items right now so that's not particularly good but it is another familiar which gives us the ability to like shoot at enemies a little easier so it's not terrible good these guys teleport right yes i always forget they teleport this time i did not ah you bastard Good. More money is lovely. Every bit helps here. I will throw away a penny to get in there and try and earn some more money. And by earn some more money, I mean blow this guy up for money. Spider bite back there would have been kind of nice, but in a crane game machine, I'd probably lose a lot of damage going for it. But I'd, I'd suspect spider bite to be one of the items that has a synergy. Spike chest there that I don't think I want to play around with. More money. Yeah, the money is coming in hot and fast now. Especially with contract from below as well. Ooh, this is good for us. Tears up and HP up. Yes. St sadly still, those HP ups don't count as red heart gains. Which means I don't get any bonus to my... Um, Amount of flies generated. It has to be an item that would give me a red heart for that to work. Sadly. Okay, this is a good room for this. And yes. The extra damage we're getting out of this is so good. I am getting hit a lot still, I realize. It's not going too bad. Thank you, my plummy boy. Oh, that was a beautiful throw for that. Again, we'll check the shop here, but I'm unlikely to want to buy anything unless it's 
going to be something that earns me more money in the long run. Uh, yeah, like, I, I, just, I don't think any of that's worth it. We're, we're nearing... We're nearing an amount of damage that I'd be pretty happy with. I think 4.5 to 5 damage is going to be really good. I'm hoping we can get a damage up alongside this, though, with the, from the Devil Deals. So far, the Devil Deals haven't rewarded us super heavily. Of course, I did trade away a few Devil Deals earlier. Didn't manage to kill all the ones I wanted to there, but that's fine. At least the flies are kind of playing ball and going after the right enemies this time around. One of the biggest problems with this character is that your flies are at the whim of what they want to do, not what you want them to do. Um, but we're getting reasonably lucky with them actually targeting the right enemies here. Yeah. Let's go do a little spew. Perks? Perks is kind of interesting for later. I don't think it's that good for right now. Taking a gamble here on getting money off of these. Damn it. Lost a lot of damage there for no reason. But perks I'll, I'll definitely take. Um, I don't know where's best to use it. But I'll hold on to it for now. And maybe save it to like post womb like mum's heart sort of stuff. Contract from below is paying out nicely at the moment. Libra. I'm gonna this is this is probably gonna be a damage down, but I'm gonna gamble. It is a damage down. A pretty big fire rate up though. But basically my gamble here is that now all my pennies are all stats up, which is good. But also my gamble here is that if I get range upgrades or just I stat upgrades that don't mean anything to us, it's at least some damage. There's at least some some value in them. Whereas before, there'd be very little. So, Libra? Interesting. Certainly interesting. I need to remember I can't really push bombs with shots like I normally do. Damn it. Completely missed my like, handle fire there. We're not in time for boss rush by quite a ways here. This fight's going to be rather long, I think. Okay, the red creep from my uh, headless baby here is doing good stuff. I'm trying to use the candle where I can, but it only affects a segment at a time. It doesn't affect the whole boss. We got the leg for a little bit. Slightly longer fight. I probably want to use some bombs in here. They're a little bit hard to time, though, is the only thing. That was a good bomb. Hit a segment and her leg at the same time. Just got to kind of, kind of gamble with the timing of the bombs and hope for the best. I think we got her. There you go. We'll take this for the damage. And, yeah, I'll take you as well. It's a little bit risky with the HP I'm currently on. But I think you dealing damage to the whole room, as well as giving me a bit of extra damage, or, well, more than just damage, all stats. It's kind of nice. But, yeah, I think this is not too bad. Not too bad. I think Libra's definitely an odd choice. I don't think Libra's the best of ideas that I could have taken. As an item in general, it's never normally a good idea. But I've got faith, I've got faith, and um, really my only current worry is my current amount of HP after taking that Devil Deal. So I think I've just got to play it a little... Basically, I think one thing that I've got to learn to do that I'm not particularly good at is just slowing down my pace a little bit. Taking my sweet time, realising that it's not a race, got all the time in the world, realising that... Um, I should probably pay attention to what certain enemies do because I didn't realize that enemy did that and it got me hit. Yeah, some feed folio enemies I still am unsure of how they function, so really ought to pay more attention to that. Probably don't have to press that and probably shouldn't. Slightly rough room here. 
Oh god. I did not know that guy did that. Again, lots of fiend folio enemies that I, I don't really know very well here. Seems like we did a pretty decent job of taking out this room though. Split, good, good. There you go. Hey, beautiful. This guy split into three this time. Hell no. Luckily, we can just sit, sit over the gap. The flight is certainly, certainly helpful. Because obviously, be, we can just sit over anything while our flies do the work. Helps a lot. More perks pills. Still no puberty pill, though. I'm holding onto this trinket. Just under the belief, the belief that it could happen. But so far, the game's not giving me much, uh, much faith in that possibility. Sadly, but you gotta stick with it. I've, I've sort of committed to the bit now. You've gotta stick to it. Good. The double golden key. Don't know how valuable that is, but. We'll take it. Wow, one of those pins got absolutely demolished then. Okay, not bad. Still, unfortunately, a wrong way in the furthest direction, really. But that's just the womb for you. That's just the womb for you. I think these guys only activate once you hit them. And I'm pretty sure because we don't fire tears, we can't hit them. Yeah. That kind of worked out for us. Okay. Don't know what this embryo guy does either. So these guys fire when they hit the wall. That's something that I need to internalize. This should hopefully reward me with more money than I put into it. So I'll lose a bit of damage. Well, stats. Uh, not really. <laughs> Didn't pay out with any money. Uh, but, we did get Chaos out of it, which, again, don't know how valuable Chaos is at this stage, I'll be honest. But, I guess that's a mystery we'll figure out together. That's a bad hit from me there. White pony. I don't know. I don't think we want white pony. That is insanely good, and we can't fucking take it. That 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 right there would win us. I wouldn't say it would win win us the run, but it, it makes every red heart into a soul heart. Also, it would be very very strong. But sadly, it's not for us. It was not in the cards for us today. Experimental pill. Speed up. Experimental pill. Lemon party. Experimental pill. Bombs are key. Carry on with our perks. Sadly, just not getting very good pills right now. Health is now in a much, much more dire spot. The fear, the fear is setting in, people. The fear is setting in. We've really got to play it quite safe now. Again. God damn it. I was like, again, remember what these enemies do. And it just crashed right into me. The moment I tried to say anything, it just fumbled right into me. Oh boy, certainly a little scary right now. The Hollow is just a genuinely tough character to play as. He's got a bit of trickiness to him. But we can stand our ground, we can hope for the best. We kind of know how to play the game in a way where we can take less damage if we play our cards right. We just got to... Use the rocks and stuff to our advantage. That fire there was a bit of a whiff. Bigger bombs. Spawns an unprimed gigabomb times two. I guess that's somewhat useful. Of clubs. 
But yeah, now we have Mr. Mega Gigabombs, which I, I don't know if that, adding them two together does anything, but maybe. Dude, these guys. Them guys are scary. Them guys are scary as shit. Anything that dashes at you at speed is just not an enemy I want to tango with. Okay. We've managed to make it towards another dead end here. But we've cleared out everywhere apart from the way we need to go, so... We've got a little bit of helping hand there. So we dealt with this room already. What the flippity flip hit me then? Oh my god, I felt so confident in not getting hit in that room. Apparently I was incorrect to be confident at all. Okay, the worry has set, certainly set in a little bit more now. Secret room could save me. Did not. Don't really know what to do in this situation. I think it's all just about hoping for the best here. This is pretty much the same situation we had with this with the hollow last time, but a little bit worse somehow. Yeah, I think re-rolling might have been the bad might have been the, the sort of the kicker for us. Don't like the brimstony boys. This guy can be a real pain as well. Okay, I'm getting like absolutely no health drops is is another sort of key issue with this run is I'm just not getting any health drops where I need them. was really hoping that would do a little bit more. I think we got her. Gigabomb certainly helped out there and we're going down. Okay, we have made it past the womb somehow. The perks pill that we've been holding onto this whole time has no real use at the, at the current amount of HP we're at, which is nice. Don't need those anymore. Do not like this situation. Luckily our damage is actually pretty decent in this situation here. It's unfortunately uh, money that I do not want to spend, but this kind of saves me, so I'm going to go for that. Puts me in a situation where I actually have some expendable HP to use. God, I, I, but then again, people have people have expressed interest at like these sort of runs being struggle bussy. People kind of like them. And I do too. I enjoy, I enjoy a good struggle bus run here and there. Careful of that guy. Oh, hello. I, I see your deal. An interesting version of you. Luckily, not too bad for us. The candle's really been a huge, huge help as well. Not to be un oh, Okay, those things can smash through rocks. I was like, I'll be safe over the rocks. The dude immediately just smashes through those rocks. I will not be safe there. I will not be safe there. The game put a big old stop sign to that. I remember what you do. Get out of that room before you do all your spraying of shots. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. Nah, it doesn't do anything for us. A lot of wrong ways yet again. The classic, classic Isaac experience. A secret room again, thank you. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay, health has, health has returned to a slightly more respectable position. I'm not going to say we're in a good spot, but slightly better. Teleporting boys certainly aren't good for my mental health right now. Oh lord. You exploding things is also not good for me. That is certainly not good for me, goddamn. Okay. It's fine. We found the boss, good, good. Don't know if we got the invisible guy. I'm hoping we did. Okay, good. Ooh, it's blocking the uh, the rock spikes. Nice. Okay, really good fight against uh, against Satan there. Really good fight against Satan. We've got a perks pill for the uh, for the lamb. We've got chaos right now, so I kind of forgot that this would be all ass. Camo undies is a really really interesting one because our flies are still going to generate and attack things while camo undies is doing its thing, right? But then it puts our health in such a dire spot. I'm gonna leave it for now. I hope that was the right decision. Okay. Bombs are good against those guys. Whoa, the fucking dashing head dude got me. God damn it. I kind of didn't expect him. Ah, oh, fuck. Enemies that go invis invincible. Also, this boss. I, I, my brain. My brain cannot comprehend this goddamn boss. The way that he does that goddamn stupid stuff with the lasers just isn't compatible with the way I think. I don't know what it is about it, but it just does not work for me. So this guy's kind of a big old bastard right now. This guy's a really hard boss for us to kill, apparently. Wasn't expecting it to be so difficult, but... In a large room like this, he's kind of a nuisance. Take more damage, fool. Why are you, why are you dying so slowly? Oh my god, this guy is an absolute pain in the ass. Wow. In a big room, this dude's just horrible. There you go. Bomb you. Okay, this room's slightly horrible as well. through it there. Yeah, I think at this stage we're kind of learning that we probably should have just taken camo undies. Really don't like this boss either. Especially these ghosts about. God damn, this is rough. Yep. Really rough. Goddamn them guys, didn't know they did that. 
lot, a lot of the damage I'm taking at the moment, I'm noticing, is just because there's a lot of enemies in Fiendfolio that I still do not understand at all as to how they function. It's getting me hit a lot. <laughs> Okay, right. Get in here, take perks, do that, pop that, hope for the best. Use as many bombs as humanly possible as well. S excuse me, B baby plum, can you stop fucking yeeting my bombs in the wrong goddamn directions? What is this bullshit? Stop moving my goddamn bombs. Oh shit, only the body's left. What the fuck? I've never had that before, I don't think. Wow. Okay. We managed it. That was kind of a crazy run. I'm super happy I got a victory there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.